about how to make cheesecakes from around the world. There are a lot of people who have different flavors of cheesecake. And we're actually going to be going to a unique place today, somewhere in the Caribbean. I had a couple of students recently. One is Raven and another one named Deuce. And they were talking so much about Jamaican food. It inspired me to go seek out what foods are popular in Jamaica. And believe it or not, there's a fruit that's from West Africa, but it is one of the most popular foods and it's eaten in a more savory way in Jamaica. And that fruit, if you want more information about it, is called Aki. Aki man. I don't have the good accent, but you gotta click on this link of this video above of the weird explorer. And he goes into great detail about the history of this fruit, where it comes from, how you have to make sure you eat the right parts of it because it can be poisonous. But to make sure that we're safe, we went to this thing called Amazon and we ordered it in a can. What's groovy about this fruit is that it actually is more savory. It's kind of creamy. Chef Jessica thinks it tastes kind of like cream corn almost mixed with avocado. It's a food and fruit and taste I've never had in my entire life. So it's kind of tricking my brain. But I want to put it, instead of being just plain, I want to put it in a cheese. I want to thank you, Deuce and Raven, for introducing me to the foods of Jamaica. You are here as in-person students with us in Spain, right at the beginning of this coronavirus outbreak in Europe. And I know you raced home to go to the U.S. So thank you for inspiring me. And this video is for you. There's a link above that shows you how to make this cheesecake base. There's a wide variety of techniques and you can refer to that. I want to talk to you about what we're making today and why we're making it. We're making a cheesecake. And cheesecakes are so common all over the world. Almost every country has their own version of it. The history of the cheesecake actually came from, believe it or not, Greece. There was an ancient doctor named Agemus and he invented cheesecake, and nowadays we have all these different varieties. But in general, cheesecakes are made with, you guessed it, cheese, whether it be cream cheese, also there are typically eggs in it, and then a sweetener. So we're now making it a vegan version, lightening it up, and also making it a lot lower cost. The unique thing about this recipe was we're actually taking some base ingredients believe it or not, that are potatoes and making that in our filling. And that potato product is called Not Cheesecake. It's from our Essentials line, which you can get on our website. We have free shipping around the world, and this comes in an easy packet. So if you think about buying off-the-shelf box cakes or instant mixes, that's what this will help you do. You can take any recipe and make a cheesecake with the flavorings of your choice. But remember today, Mon, we're making one from Jamaica. So I'm adding the base ingredients. You wanna add some liquid, also some oil. The rest of you can use a sweetener of your choice. Now typically, it, down in Jamaica, where there's so much sugar that uh, they have sugar plantations, it's one of the main industries in all of Jamaica, so we're using traditional white sugar. I also have a little bit of lemon juice, lemon zest. This is our mix, this is the cheesecake mix. That gets mixed in, and then of course, our Aki to make our Aki cheesecake. So let's try this Aki fruit. It's like Jess said, it's kind of like cream corn with avocado. So a lot of times there's also molasses used down there in Jamaica, but the most traditional thing you would use is traditional plain old white sugar. And now you just blend everything up. While you don't need to bake this cheesecake, you do need to heat it up to 75 degrees C. Heat it up to 75 or higher, you want to let it cool for a little bit, and then pour it into your pan. You have
have to make sure this sits in the refrigerator overnight to set. So now it's the day after we started our Aki cheesecake. So remember, go to Jamaica. You can make any type of cheesecake in the world, but especially one from Aki. This comes from, typically from Africa. They eat it in Jamaica. And you can use not cheesecake to be completely vegan, low cost, cholesterol free, and delicious. So let's give this Jamaican cheesecake a try, man. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy, cheesy, but definitely with a lot of flavor, man. And I guarantee you will be the only one on your block who has ever had an Aki cheesecake. And don't even have to tell them it's vegan.